guys! Today I'm going to show you how to do one of my favorite hand sewing stitches called the ladder stitch. This stitch is sometimes also called invisible stitch because you can't see it from the outside of the work. Ladder stitch is really useful when you don't want to top stitch to close up the opening that's left over from turning your project right side out. I use this stitch the most when I'm sewing dolls or stuffed animals. For this example, I just have a couple of pieces sewn together and turned right side out. You can see my opening here um, on one of the straight edges, which is done to be able to hide it better. And you can tell by these crisp folds that I've turned the seam allowance in and ironed the whole thing flat. I highly suggest you do this, if it's possible, to make it easier to see where to insert the needle. If you're sewing a stuffed object, try to iron at least that one area where the opening is before stuffing it. To start, insert the needle into the fold on one side of the opening. To do this, you're going to insert it between the seam allowance and the fabric and make it come out right here at the fold. Pull a needle through and we're ready to continue. Now, um, insert the needle in the fold on the other side of the opening. It's important that you move directly across. Oops, let me show you that better. It's important to go directly across and not to one side or the other. So I'm, here it's hard to tell because it's right on the edge, but you'll see better after. So we insert just the tip into the fold. Then you're going to pivot the needle. Whoops, slipped out a little bit. Pivot the needle and get the tip to come out just a few millimeters to the left. Pull the needle all the way through and give a little tug. The, the little tug holds the fabric together. Then we're just going to keep doing the same thing. Go directly across the opening, insert the needle, pivot the needle, and bring it out just a few millimeters to the left. Give it a little tug and you can see how that just kind of pulls it all together. And you just need to continue doing it like that. Insert the tip right into the fold. This is why it's really useful to iron the fabric. Now I'm using a sort of large needle for this project, but that's basically, I actually did that just to show it a little bit better in this video. It's actually easier to use a smaller one, but we'll just not worry about that. Okay, now you can see these these bits of thread that are going across here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, the reason ladder stitch is called ladder stitch is because those threads going across look like the rungs of a ladder. All right, continue going like that. I'm gonna do this kind of quickly because I'm sure you don't wanna see me doing this all day long. And you can see Every time I give that little gentle tug, it just pulls it all together. Do your best not to move to the right or left when you're bringing the needle across the work. Because if you move off a little bit, you'll start to be able to see the thread. So I'm just going to continue working here. Just do the best you can. See here, I sort of, sort of messed it up. But just do what I can. Okay. Um, I'm doing it with a sort of larger stitch just to go faster, but in, it's actually better to do shorter stitches, like this much or even less. If you want, the shorter the stitch, the less you can notice it. Um, and actually the more stable the stitch is too, the more resistant it is. I'm sorry if it's not very easy to see what I'm doing here. This is actually the first time 
I'm trying to sew in front of a camera and it's actually not that easy. I have a whole new respect for people who do this. It's actually sort of complicated. Anyway, so this is maybe not the best job I've ever done, but just bear with me. All right, you can see we're almost at the end here. So I'm just gonna do the last couple little stitches. See, I'm going right up to the end here. Just, and I wanna close it up. Okay, I'm going to uh, close this last bit up. All right, and I just pulled it through here. There you go, and you can see it's closed up. Now, you've gotten to the end, just tie a little knot. There are all sorts of ways that you can tie a knot in hand sewing. Um, I'm just going to do it the way that I usually do, which is not always the best way, but what I did is I pulled the, I pushed the needle into the fabric on the other side of the seam, and I'm pulling it through to make a loop. And I have a little tiny loop here. Let's see if I can get you to see that. And what I do is I pull I put the needle through that loop, trying not to tangle the thread, and pull. And it makes a little knot. And you can see it a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Now, to hide the thread, kind of open up your project. You can see I did kind of larger stitches here, so it's kind of opening up, but try not to do that. Stick the needle in close to where you have the knot. Oh God, that really is terrible. All right, well, don't pay attention to that. Stick it in close to the knot, and then just pull it out wherever, in some other part of your work. It doesn't really matter. Pull it through. Okay, then, oops, I forgot my scissors. Hold on a second. Okay. Then trim the thread very close, pull on it a little bit, and trim the thread. Then when you rearrange your fabric, you can't see it because the thread's gotten pulled back into the work. So that's it. So you can see that this stitch um, is really hard to see on the finished object. I didn't do an excellent job here because I was too busy looking in the camera screen, but um, it's still really great if you don't want to have any visible thread in your project when it's finished. So I hope that this video was useful, and if it was, don't forget to check out the rest of my free Learn to Machine Sew course for beginners on kuchikuchiku.com. See you soon!